Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Vivid Voltage video. Today, guys, we're going to be covering a B deck today. Um, now, I've seen a few people try out the B engine already on YouTube. Um, and kind of, I guess, the general consensus is sort of just kind of use this engine of Jirachi and Nuranguru. And there are a lot of ways to play B. There is a ton of... There's probably... I could probably make, like, 12 videos on this card if I really wanted to. And I probably will make a lot of videos on this card. But the first deck I want to try out is Sir Fetch V1 because it's a new, newish card. It's, it's a full art in the set. Um, and I've been getting a bunch of comments from somebody telling me to build a Sir Fetch deck. So here you go. Sir Fetch B. Uh, pretty straightforward archetype. We use B. The discard top five card to your deck. Attach any number of energy you find there. And you discard in this way to your bench. Finding Pokemon anyway you like. There's a lot of ways to play this. And the fact that there's any energy too means we could maybe play this with Amazing Rare Zamazent <clears throat> future video. Um, so we're going to be trying to build up Sir Fetch tier. Uh, just Meteor Smash. I got right here in the deck too with a nice backup attacker. Pretty straightforward archetype. Um, we'll see if it works today. So forget the video, guys. Go check to our sponsor, Card and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, guys, make sure to get them over at Card Cavern, guys. Card Cavern sells codes for the cheapest on the market. So yes, guys, if you are looking for Vivid Voltage codes still, or you're looking for uh, maybe Champions Path codes, Darks of Blaze codes still, get them over at Card Cavern. Maybe you guys want to also pick up any specific GX or V code or any of the Battle Arena codes like the new ADP Zacian code. Get them over at Card Cavern, guys. If you do get any codes over at Card Cavern, of course, guys, at the checkout, make sure to use code LDF at the checkout. Get yourself a 5% discount on your purchase. It greatly helps the channel out, helps yourself out, and helps out Card Cavern too. Shout out to Card Cavern, guys. Check them out. And as always, guys, make sure you use code LDF at the checkout. Also, guys, shout out to GG Tour, guys. There is a tournament coming up on December 27th. There is a $3,000 prize pool, and it is going to be casted by me and Azul again. Now, this tournament does have a $10 entry fee. Um, however, if you use a referral code like LDF5, you actually can get in for $5. Now, it's worth it because the top 32 ends up getting paid out. So it's actually worth it to try to enter this tournament because there is a $3,000 prize pool. You can win money. So I think it's worth it. Definitely check it out if you want. Link down below to sign up on the Limitless site. And again, you do sign up. Use referral code LDF5. Let's take a look at the list here. So this is what I'm working with for Sir Fetched. Um, yeah, I mean, the deck's pretty straightforward. Sir Fetched is a pretty decent attacker. You know, it's seen play right now in like Mewtwo, Pika. It does have an ability, Resolute Spear, once you're in turn. Uh, when the Pokemon moves from your bench to your active, you may move any number of energy from your from your other Pokemon to his Pokemon. So... You can do a lot of, like, energy moving stuff. Uh, combine this with, like, Switch and Bird Keeper and Air Balloon. We can easily move this card in between other Sir Fetched and uh, kind of have a little combo going. And, of course, we have the big bad Rhyperior here with Drill Run. Uh, pretty good card, in my opinion. I really like playing the Rhyperior. Drill Run can be really good in certain scenarios where you want to remove their energy. Um, and it's a bit more bulkier than Sir Fetched. I will say this. This deck could maybe play, like, a few Cape of Toughnesses. I don't know what I would cut. Like, the problem with playing the B deck, though, is you have to play a lot of energy to make this deck kind of be consistent so i wanted to play uh cape of toughness in here honestly i could not find room for cape of toughness i do think cape would be a really cool card to play in this deck for rhyperior and sir fetched just can't find room for it uh guru is a really important card primary wisdom put an energy from your hand on top of your deck to guarantee a discard with b is really good they just got staple stuff a drachi pretty good starter uh great ball great catcher quick ball switch obviously four switch to move between your sir fetched along with three air balloon and two bird keeper well, lots of switching got three marnie three boss 4B and 19 or 18 energy. Sorry, not 19, 18 energy. Uh, I got a split of weak guard and capture. Weak guard can be helpful if you know you run to a psychic deck or if you you know run to like a grass deck and you need right here for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, this is my uh, B Sir Fetch deck again, guys. There's a lot of other B combos. If you guys want to see any other B decks, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, let me know what other B archetypes you can think of that would be pretty fun to try out. Other than that, Zamazenta Amazing Rare deck, which I want to try out soon. So uh, let me know down below. I'll be interested to hear. Let's get into some matches. All right, guys, getting into our first match with our B Sir Fetch deck here. Uh, we'll go first. Yeah, I mean, actually, maybe going second's better because we can still do turn one Sir Fetch, but it doesn't look like we got the B anyways. And uh, we do get the Jirachi start. Not a bad opening hand here. We do have a cap turn G. Uh, what would I quick ball? I guess we quick ball with the boss for the Sir Fetched. I guess, well, we could have went, we could have went, uh, we could have went with our ability first, I guess, too, but who cares? Let's capture energy here for Naranguru. Let's go Dreamy Revelation. Hmm, we get a Marnie. I guess we'll take the Marnie. And <laughs> just pass, I guess. How much else we can really do? 
Not a bad start, though. Probably could have air ballooned the Jirachi, actually, but it's fine. I don't know what they're playing. Uh, ooh, I think it's actually a Charizard deck. Yeah, it's definitely a Charizard deck, which... I don't know. It's one of those one prize decks, which, I mean, a two prize deck, can it really keep up? I don't know. All right, they have the Dede Change, though, which is good. They do lose a Charmeleon, two of their rare candies. All right, I'm feeling a little bit better now. They lost three evolution lines there, which is pretty good. The only problem is, is the Charizard. We'll see how we do, though. Um, I could Bird Keeper. I think we just go Marnie next turn and just hope for the best. I do want to knock out their Oracorio, though. If we can get into a B next turn, potentially, I do want to try to kill this Oracorio here, because I would like to knock this out. Oracorio could be a bit of a pain for us, because it lets him draw a Thrifter card. They're going to calm here. I wonder what they're going to get. They might play Jirachi, maybe. They're going to go with a second. They're not going to play that. Don't tell me you're actually going to bench. Okay, I was going to say. Let's see if we top deck. So, okay. We'll go for the Dream Revelation. Get a Great Ball. We'll take it. So here's what we'll do. We will... Play the Great Ball. Get the Dedene. We'll Air Balloon. Do this. I think we're just going to Dedene change. Yeah. We're just going to Dedene change. We're just going to try to get the B here. Get the knock in on the Oracorio if we can. Slow them down a little bit. There's the B. Alright, we got him. Uh, Rhyperior isn't really that good. It can't one-shot. I think we just go with, like, all Surfetch. It's going to be the Surfetch show. We just got to use our Surfetch. Actually, maybe we could have kept the Rhyperior. No, it's fine. Who cares? Um, Go here. Is it only on one Pokemon? Oh, it's any, oh, it's any way you like. That's actually pretty busted. All right, here we go. How many energy are we going to get? Ooh, three energy. So we go Stone. We go two here. All right, B. I like, I like, I like you, B. I already like you. Whoops. Ooh, that was I almost clicked that. All right, but let's knock out this Oracorio. Now they lost their draw three potential. They could easily Ornate Rod it back, I guess. But what are the chances they do find their one, most likely one of Ornate Rod? There's a Bird Keeper for next turn. All right, I'm liking this. That was a good knockout. Um, So they could still knock me out. We only have 230 HP technically because of the stone. So they could still easily... They had the rod in their hand, bro. Here I am saying, I hope they don't have their one of Ornate Rod. And they had it in their hand. What is that? Maybe we should have been Triperior. And, you know, maybe we should have just gotten rid of the energy and been Triperior because we might need it to knock out a Dene. They have no Leon in the discard. Only got one. That's, what, 150? Okay, yeah, they're not going to knock out my Surfetch. We're chilling. Uh -huh. We could potentially retreat into... If we can find a boss? No, I was boss is gone. I know we're going to get a boss this turn. I do want to get a boss knockout on one, on the Oracorio again, though, if we can. It looks like they don't have the Charizard. I mean, they're down to rare candy. They, I mean, they're getting pretty lucky. What the heck, bro? I'm like, they're getting pretty lucky. They, they, you know, they, they found the rod. And they actually somehow had their third rare candy in their hand. This man is the luckiest Charizard player I've ever played against. My goodness. Well, they still, I mean, one Leon. They need two Leons. They've done well already, so they actually... They have to get two Leons in the discard this turn to knock me out. Um, and if they do knock me out, they still have to go through another another Surfetch. I mean, bro, this guy is getting so... If he knocks me out, bro, this man literally should go play Lottery. He's the luckiest Charizard player I've ever seen in my life. This man had the Ornate Rod after we knocked out his Corio. Okay, no Leons. Uh, if he, uh, I was going to say, if he gets a knockout here, bro, off of that Battle Sense or whatever with his hand, bro, I'm done. Uh, Charmeleon's in the discard again, which is good, so... There's a Leon. Does he have a Quick Ball? Do you have a Giant Hearth? No. Okay. Dang, bro. I don't even know what to say about this game, bro. This is so weird. Ah, right, here we go. We're just gonna... Bird Keeper. Nice to see you, Energy. Ah, take the Guru, sure. And we will... Primate Wisdom. Wow, I don't know what else I would have done without that, bro. Uh, I think we just take a knockout. Not, I don't think we're going to lose our hand. I do want to get the other Sir Fetch of the prize. I definitely should have benched the Rhyperior. That was, okay, there we go. I was going to say. I definitely should have put the Rhyperior down for sure. Because we could have used it with, like, boss on the Dedene with Drill Run. I was just thinking because it doesn't knock out Charizard. Um, it's better in matchups where you can discard their energy. But because it doesn't knock out Charizard, it's not that good. I definitely should have went for it, though, no matter what. Let's see if they can knock out my Sir Fetched here. 
I mean, they got one rare candy left, bro. If they actually get another... I mean, they could. They're, at, they're, at, they're probably maybe at a welder. They're at a boss, too. Okay, they have to be really lucky here if they're going to get a knockout. If they somehow knock out my Sir Fetch this turn, bro, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, there's an Eldegoss. That can get them the welder, but will the welder do them much? They have one rare candy left. Out of a 17-card deck, and... They haven't taken a prize, and it could be their last prize. It could be prize, bro. If they get the Charizard, oh, I was going to say, bro, this man needs to go play the lottery, bro. <laughs> All right, we got 50 coins. I actually think I could buy a pack here from the shop, which I'm going to do. And y'all know me. I'm, I'm buying these triumphant packs recently because, you know what? There's a lot of primes in this set that are worth, like, upwards of 100 packs. There's some pretty good reverse holo trainer cards you can pull, too. So, you know what? We might as well buy another triumphant pack because I'm just, I'm buying triumphant, man. Who cares about Viv Voltage? Triumphant's where it's at. I do want to get HSS base set because I want to get those verse switches and DCs, but let's see if we can get a prime here. <sighs> Gengar Mew Prime. <sighs> Another electrode. I don't need any electrode, bro. I got five of these now. And that this could have been could have been a Celebi. Could have been a Celebi. Alright, guys. Well, it looks like we have finally hit an ADP deck. This guy has the ADP-ish setup. This is most likely gonna be an ADP deck. Uh I don't even want to say unfortunately because. Wait, we could still put the beat on ADP. And we do actually get the V-Start here and the Surfetch. We have a pretty good opening hand, kind of. We'll see what my opponent's playing. It's most like ADP. I mean, there's no way it's not ADP. Yes, there, there, there's the ADP. There is that big, ugly, big, ugly monster himself. Okay. I guess we could have went Jirachi, actually. I'm going to get another... We can actually get Rhyperior here, too. Yeah, let's get Rhyperior. We'll use both. He, you know, right here, he's, he's the homie. He's the homie. Oh, that was a great, that was a great card. Eh, just pass, I guess. Well, we hit ADP. We'll see how this goes. I actually do think if we go drill run, we can slow them down a little bit from getting to the altar crit. Yeah, there's the... We actually probably should have just quick fall away the uh, martial arts dojo, but I didn't actually expect them to have the swell in their hand. But yeah, going right here, here actually doesn't seem too bad. Maybe we could have held... I mean, they might Marnie me. I actually kind of want them to... Um, I don't really like this hand that much. I wouldn't mind them marting me here. We can maybe go, like, B to Dene and try to get into a better hand. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind them actually marting me. But yeah, we can maybe go Drill Run here and try to slow them down with Rhyperior. We can hit them for, like, 80 and then, like, switch into Surfetch, put all the energy from Rhyperior onto Surfetch. Okay, well, here we go. We're gonna go for it. Here we go. B, we need a bunch of energy. One energy! No! And we lost a bunch of resources. Oh, my God. Uh, that sucks. We don't even get another energy to attach. We can't even drill run next turn. That's unfortunate. We can still... I mean... Oh, yeah, I don't know what to do. We're gonna have to do another B here because we can't drill run. If we... I see, if we had an energy that turn, we could have went for drill run next turn and slowed them down a little bit. There is a chance they whip water energy here. Uh, what? The alternate crossing? They're down to E-switch, so drill running them would have been so good. That is so unfortunate, because I really wanted to get the draw. We could have went draw run, then next turn switch into Sir Fetch to knock them out. I that sucks, bro. Not much we can do. That was just a bad B. Again, if they do with the attack here, there might be a chance. We still don't have another B, though, but we could get a B this turn if something good happens. It looks like they don't have it. All right. They don't have... The, the only problem is Rhyperior can get one shot with the stone energy on. If we can take out their ADP, though, we'll be chilling. I don't know. Not getting that attack turn one, though, it really it does suck. And this Zacian's powered up in one turn, thanks to its overpowered ability. <sighs> There's not much I can do. It's not the Marnie and hope for the best. That's just a very unfortunate turn of events. There's a B. We have one. Okay, we got one for next turn, which is good. Maybe. Might as well just play this. Great ball ain't even working. That's just... That sucks. gonna pass i guess not much else i can do we're kind of we're stuck right now just not getting that turn one drill run guys this is what this is the problem with b though to be fair we 18 energy is not terrible odds of hitting three energy for a right period so it kind of sucks and we did have to wait we lost a few resources to be fair though benching crowbat and eldegoss could be a bad idea anyways but our main attackers already get one shotization if again if they don't alter creation me here which it doesn't look like they're going to which is good we might be okay we might be okay if only we had the dojo, bro. We could one-shot the Zacian with heavy rock artillery. Ooh, that's actually smart, though. Putting the fourth energy on. 
Alright, we're gonna have to go B again. Okay, that's a lot better. We got a lot more energy there, as we like to see. Can we just drill run? Hope they don't have switch. I don't, I mean, I don't even know at this point if it's worth it, but we'll see. We'll remove their energy. Hit him for 80. Next turn, we can knock him off Sir Fetched. Uh, we can boss his Asian next turn. They probably have switch in hand, though. We'll see, though. We'll see. I could have, like, I could have sat back, I guess, but we don't even have, if we had our other, oh, we do have our other dojo. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, they're putting five energy on this AC. Okay, interesting. All right, let's see if they get the AC here. They are, ooh, they're actually just going to retreat probably. Maybe they don't have the switch then. Ah, oh, yo, that's busted. They get the switch here off of that. Rip. Oh, maybe not. They're not going to retreat. Wait, what's going on? That's all their E switch. That's good, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. If they don't move the ADP here, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Um, cause I actually will boss the Zacian out and hit it. Cause they are, look at all the energy they've already used up. Six. Six. Yeah, we, if, if they don't move here, I'm actually down to, uh, draw run them. Maybe honestly though, we should have went, uh, Sir Fetch there for 200. And maybe we should have saved right here. But yeah, if they don't move the ADP here, which it doesn't look, if, if they just AC me, I'm actually down to boss the Zacian out and hit it. And take out their, there's another energy gone. All right. Yeah, hitting Zacian here actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Unless they get it, if they saucer to it. Oh, they have the nuts. I'm actually more shocked they aren't knocking me out. I honestly, maybe knocking me out there would have been their better play, but I ain't complaining, bro. You do you, boo. They're probably just going to AC me here, which, I mean, they can't one-shot me. Yeah, they're going to AC. I actually don't agree with this. All right, so we're going to boss this up. And there is a chance they don't have another energy here. I mean, look, two metals. They're out of E-Switch, so that's four... Five, seven, eight, eight energy, and I don't know if they play any more than eight medals. So, or eight metal outs per se. So, this actually feels pretty good. Remove their energy. Literally doesn't matter what we get rid of here. Yeah, it doesn't matter what we get rid of. All right. If I mean, I, I guess they could have another Aurora in the deck, but then we just knock out Surfetch, and we can't get one shot return by ADP. So, actually, this feels pretty good. This feels good. If they don't attack me here with a Zacian, we, uh, I think we're in a good spot because then we can Bird Keeper into Sir Fetched and knock out their ADP. We do need to build up the other Sir Fetched, though, ASAP. No, bro, they had a Saucer? They're down to Switch. There's a chance they don't have the Switch. They have a four-card hand. If they don't have Switch into Zacian, that's pretty good, too. But if they do, we knock them out Sir Fetched, and they can't one-shot me in return. And we can knock out... But I guess, how do we win the game from this point? I guess there's a chance they don't have another energy for this other ADP. I mean, they have used a lot of energy. Not getting that turn at one attack, though, with Drill Run, or that, that Drill Run originally was just kind of what's killing us. But, I mean, they got to be low on energy. I can't imagine they have any more than what they got. They got 3 ADP. Of course you play 3 ADP, because that's what this deck needs. So we got one metal in the discard, one coding. So 2, 5, 8. That's 10 energy. ADP decks don't usually play more than 10 energy. So... They might actually be out of energy. Their only energy source might be one one metal saucer. If they had a couple E switches, I'd be a little bit more worried. Marnie, ooh, that's actually good. You try to get into uh, another way. We have to build another fetch. We have to probably get another B here, assuming they don't knock me out though. That's not. That's not it. If they don't KO me here, we're in a good spot, I think, because then we can knock them out, and we can even save Rhyperior to knock out their Zacian. Or if we can actually just have two Surfetches built up. Honestly, though, Salamence. Wait, hold on. Uh, what? This guy plays a Salamence? Oh, man, that might, that might mean he plays more energy. Wait, why would he play Salamence? What does that even do? Why would you... What? What? Why is he playing a Salamence in the deck? And an alternate crossbow, bro? This guy's got ADP box, bro. ADP box is the future. The future of ADP, guys. ADP box with three air balloons. Four air balloons. Okay, what? Don't tell me he has more energy in the deck. He might, okay, maybe he has like one more energy. He's got to play like one. There's no way. Why would you play 11 energy before you switch, bro? What? This guy play? what are you playing, bro? What kind of ADP deck is this? Oh my goodness. So actually, I'm going to save Rhyperior for later. Oh, he had another swell though. Bro, this guy's deck is hella annoying. He's got two swells. Now we can't even use Rhyperior's heavy rock artillery to one-shot a fresh Zacian. How fun. 
All right, we're just going to go in with Sir Fetched here. Do we want to keep... I, honestly, it seems like Drawer 1 is really good. They might be out of energy at some point. Yeah, we can always use Heavy Rock. Ah, actually, I don't know. Maybe that wasn't the correct play. I don't know. Let's see if we get anything good here. Great Ball. That can help us. Nope, it does not. That doesn't get us a Dedenne. Oh, we can take a KO. I, this guy, bro, this guy's ADP deck is blowing my mind. I, it's just blowing my mind. All right, let's see what our prize there. Dojo. Great Ball. Okay, boss is good. They're probably gonna knock me out with Zacian, though. Actually, yeah, you know what, guys? I think I I think I think threw. I should have just taken the energy off the right period. However, I gotta assume they're out of energy, so we could still take advantage of Drill Run here. Yeah, I should have taken the energy off the right period, though. That was definitely a misplay. Well, actually, what we can do is we can boss their ADP, remove their energy, and if they don't have another switch out, we can just win the game. Yeah, I should have... Well, they probably just have boss for game anyways. They haven't even played a boss's order yet. Hmm. Bro, this guy's got the weirdest deck I've ever seen in my life. Okay, you know what? I definitely should have just taken the energy out the right period, and I should have kept the Surf Fetch powered up. I might... I might have... That might cost me the game. But they also... They probably have boss. They haven't even played one yet. Like, they actually haven't even played a boss yet. So, like, they probably just have boss anyways. I think, honestly... Let's see what this gets us. No to Dene, bro. Where's it at? Rip. Okay. Here's my game plan, guys. This is my insanely... Insanely crazy smart game plan they have two switch left i i i think we lose anyways i definitely should have just went with sir fetched here and just tried to force them but i guess we can still go with the sir fetch anyways it really doesn't matter right we can still talk about sir fetch and then if they have boss they win the game but why do they play so much energy that's what cheeses me this guy's adp deck it's like oh guys oh it's only got 10 energy you'll be out of energy soon drill run can be really good and then out of nowhere this guy plays what like 12 energy and a salamence and and a Krozma and a Mewtwo in his ADP deck, bro. This is why ADP sucks, bro. It's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. How many energies he played? 5, 8, 11, 12. So we have a couple of plans. We can trap the ADP in the active. Or we can knock out their Zacian and then hope they don't have a boss. I think either play, we're doomed. <laughs> I think we're doomed no matter what. I think we just got to go for the... Knock it with Sir Fetched and hope they don't have a boss for game. I don't know. Maybe the trapping the ADP play was the better play there. Um, I mean, we technically could still do it, but they just have a switch and they win. And they've only played. If they played more switch, I definitely would have felt better, but they definitely played more switch. They haven't played a boss yet. I, guys, I think we do lose this. Like, I still can't. I can't really come up with another game plan. I think we still have. I think we still lose this game. Um. We'll see, though. I think we still lose this. We'll see what happens. I mean, they haven't played a boss yet. There's not much more I can do. I'll take a look at their list after. I'm really curious to see what their, their list look like. This is such a weird AD, weird ADP deck. I don't have boss. If they don't have boss, we have game. If they do have boss, we lose. Let's see. If they have boss, we lose. If they don't have boss, do they not have it? Of course, they play Zamas now. What else do they have? What do they play? One of... And they had more energy. Are you serious? 13 energy, bro? Who plays 13 energy in ADP? What the heck? <laughs> okay. They actually might not... Yeah, great. Thanks for slow rolling me there, buddy. Really appreciate it. You're in your uh, horribly, weirdly built ADP deck. That is so infuriating, bro. I gotta look at their list. I got... You gotta look at their list. What is this doing in the deck? This doesn't even work with Alter Creation, bro. Oh my god. What did I just play again? Bro, this was the weirdest ADP deck I've ever seen. 15 energy? What? I thought this man only had 10. This guy had 15 energy. Oh my god, bro. I don't even know what to say anymore, bro. This guy had the ADP box. We just lost the ADP box. Oh my god. All right, so let's get into this next match. All right, we'll go second this time. We'll try out the going second method, see if we can get a turn 1B. Uh, I think we can still easily... We can probably get it, actually. We have a lot of outs. We can probably find the B here. 
We'll see what we're playing against. Uh, hopefully it's not another Charizard deck. I don't really want to play against Charizard that many times. It's a Welder deck. This might not be Charizard, though. This might not be a Charizard deck. All right. Truckster card. Another energy. Okay, it is a Charizard, but it's not It's not a Rory or... What is it? Battle Sense? Whatever. It's not Leon Charizard. We are playing against Breakzard here. Uh -huh. So, now I'm glad I made them go first. I mean, I didn't know I was playing against a Welder deck, but it's better that they're going first now. Ooh, that Reshizard is actually bad. That can one-shot my Sir Fetched. So, I think the way to deal with that Reshizard would be Drill Run. Because this thing can one-shot my Sir Fetch with Outrage. Because we hit it for 200 and then just outrages me. I actually think we have to hit this with Drill Run. Let's see we top deck. Okay. Let's go. Um, We'll get rid of an Air Balloon, I guess. That was a tough decision, to be honest. Definitely just take the Sir Fetched here. I like this. This is looking decent. See, we get another guy down. No, we do get a Marnie. I'll take it, though. We can be here and guarantee an energy. There's only one Sir Fetch. I kind of want to get two in play. I could... Crowbat for two. We're guaranteed an energy and another card. I may, I think we just be instead, then. We're not really guaranteed many cards there. What did we lose? Oh, do we... What, we we got in the Quick Ball? Oh, my... We would have... I think we would have drawn the Quick Ball there. We lost another B. Thanks. All right. That's fine. We'll go Crowbat. Um, ooh, great. We could Great Catcher them now, and then we get knocked out. I think we just hit this for 200. And just hope they don't Flare Strike me. They need a Switch and three energy and a Welder. I mean, that's asking for a lot. We need to get into, we need to get into a Sir Fetch. Losing that second B isn't ideal. We did lose... Ah, yeah, I think we would have drawn the Quick Ball. I don't think it was worth it to do it anyways, though. Going for the... Uh, Going for the Crowbat there just didn't seem right. I mean, we probably wouldn't have drawn anything helpful anyways. So, I think it was better to just not do Crowbat there. But maybe we should have. I didn't think I would actually draw a Quick Ball. But we could have definitely used it. But we did. it's not like we got that many energy anyways. But I still wanted to have a second basic. So as long as Sir Fetch can live here, we can go Marnie next turn. And we can try to get them into... We can try to find another B combo. Because we just need to go B one more time with... I think Rhyperior because we want to draw run their energy off to try to slow them down. If we get a stone energy on Rhyperior, then it can't get one shot by Flare Strike. So they'd have to double blaze me. And Drill Run can slow them down, so. so I'm, hoping for. I'm hoping they don't knock me out. If they knock me out, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. There's a Poke Gear. Does it get them a welder? No! Bro, found them the welder. How, dude? Alright. Yeah, hopefully they don't knock me out. I, I, there's not much else I can really say about our position. We just gotta hope. They don't KO me. Don't know what else to tell you. Okay, perfect. Only one energy. That's good. They can't double blaze knock me out, thanks to our stone energy and our 210 HP. Stellar Wish. Okay, so it's not a green stack, so that's good. Hopefully they don't have a switch, because I do want to knock this out. Well, I guess I guess it could have been worse. They could have gotten the two energy. They could have definitely knocked me out. They had a they got the double energy there. It is a little annoying. Actually, we can kind of play passive if we want to. I don't mind that. I think, yeah, I think... Well, we could Great Catcher too, right? We can Great Catcher Marnie, knock this out, or we can just bring this in. We can always knock this out later on down the road with, uh, with Drill Run, I guess. Let's see if we top deck. Second Jirachi's not bad, actually. Okay, let's see what this gets us. Hmm. I, don't, I guess we'll take the Bird Keeper. We'll do the Marnie, I guess. So we can attach a Sir Fetch, which means we can keep energy on this if we go with another Sir Fetch here, and this Sir Fetch will still be powered up. So we could Great Catcher here, bring in the Reshi's Art, smack it for 200. I don't like... Uh, I think... Actually, it might be worth it, because we're going to Dead A change. We can probably get another B next turn, so... Actually, yeah, this is fine, actually. I think this is fine. We just try to get a second Sir Fetched. Uh, we could do double Jirachi then. Nah. Okay. So it's definitely worth it. I probably shouldn't have benched Jirachi though, to be honest. Uh, but it, it looks like it paid off. So we go Great Ball for Sir Fetched. Yep. Uh, we can't bench a Ranguru. I, I really... We shouldn't have benched that, uh... We should not have benched the, uh... 
Jirachi there, to be honest. We just go one, two, three. Yeah, I regret mentioning this. Now we can't go over Ranguru. Uh, we could, I guess we could wait a turn to do Ranguru to get B. I mean, we still have another one in the deck. It's not that big of a deal. I do want to try to get into the uh, the B next turn. We didn't get it. We do have Eldegoss, though, but we can't use Guru. Yeah, I really regret benching this Jirachi now. I really shouldn't have benched that Jirachi there. That was a misplay. Still, though, now our game plan is knock this out, knock this out, and we win. Better yet, if we can draw a B here, we can either bench the Guru, or we can get Rhyperior and knock him out Grow Run, which I probably would prefer. As long as they don't bench on the Reshizard, be okay. Ooh, they lose two Fire Crystals. That's pretty good. So they'll knock me out with Outrage. Losing our Great Catcher is an idea. We still have our boss, so we could still easily boss out this Break Sard. I mean, once we knock out this Rush Sard, it might still be hard for them to go through three, two other fighting Pokemon, so we could still easily win this. This thing can't one-shot anything. Uh, well, it can one-shot at any Crobat. Oh, why are they welding to the active? Let's go. They don't have to do that. They can just knock me out their rage. This is actually really good that they're doing that. If Eldegoss is prize... Uh, I think we have the Dead Age change again. But then we, we're going to be out of rank Guru. But I mean, I guess we're going to be low on Switch. Maybe Venture Guru is already bad enough. I don't know. But uh, the good news is they uh, misplayed pretty bad there. They shouldn't have... Uh, they could just outrage me and built up the break start. Now they can't attack me next turn. Pretty good. I see we top deck. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can rip the B. Ooh, let's go. Now our game plan is set up a little bit better. Now we don't actually have to do the Guru. So I'm actually just going to quick ball it away. I'm not going to bother benching it. It's not worth it anymore. We'll get the right period. We'll do B first. Nice. Three energy. So we're going to put all the energy on the right period. Well, at least we want one stone energy on. Now we can't get one shot by Flare Storm. So we can just attach right here, right? And we didn't lose a boss, did we? I don't think we did. We didn't lose a boss. Perfect. Yep, we draw a knockabout. And yeah, all we have to do now is find boss. We could have a boss prize, so we could get off of our prizes here. Switch is good. Bird Keeper's good. Boss? Now, the reason I also put two stone energy on Surfetch is now we don't have to worry about that play with Outrage if or Flare Strike at, down the road if they ever go for another break. Rushy Sorry. We're literally just one boss away from winning. We all have three boss in the deck. And uh, we have a Jirachi next turn, so there's actually we could find boss. I honestly I really great mention this Jirachi now. But it gives us a free pivoter, I guess. Like if it's something we can like give up for a turn if we really have to. It's maybe not the end of the world, but not having a guru in play kind of sucks because guru actually would help us get boss. But we do have you can see three cards next turn to try to get the boss's order for game. So, we'll see if we get there. We get to see three cards with Jirachi and our top deck. We have three boss in the deck, I'm assuming. Pretty decent odds of finding, I would say. So, we'll see. I mean, they could play Great Potion, but then we just knock them out for fetch. So, like, no matter what, they have to get... I don't know what they could do here. I guess they could put, like, Crushing Hammer, and they could, like, have, like, three in hand. They gotta get three heads in a row. That would be pretty annoying, actually, but even if they did that, I think we could still attack with a uh, Fetch. No matter what, I think we're okay. Even if they crushing hit, they'd have to have all hammer heads. But even then, will they get all hammer heads if they had crushing hammer? They could stamp me to three, actually. I guess I gotta consider a stamp here, too. They have an air balloon on a Jirachi, which is kind of kicked up because it doesn't even work on it. Um, well, it does, but it doesn't let it retreat when it's after its ability. Okay. Baby Volk. Uh, they can go to Baby Volk, I guess, to buy a turn. Then we just heavy rock them, and then we just got knock out Dedenne, which makes our boss game a little bit easier in case they heal this. Let's see what they do. We could also just Bird Keeper and knock them out and then draw three cards, try to get boss. I think we just switch. I mean, we have three boss in the deck. Pretty good odds of finding it. We could also just draw run. Ooh, there's a dead A change. They might be digging here for that potential. Uh, they might be digging for that reset. I'm assuming they play a reset stamp. They most likely do. They could hit one, but they could also stamp us into boss too. You never know. Who knows? We have double Jirachi, actually. Yeah, okay, we have double Jirachi, but I don't think we have a way to shuffle the deck. Eh, we have Cash Energy. But would it work because our bench is full? I don't know. We have three Jirachis, though, so this could still work out in our favor. Oh, there's a boss on my Crobat. Okay, well, it doesn't make, it make a difference. We're still switching. 
Actually, if they switched, if they bossed him either Jirachi, that would have been amazing. <laughs> Alright, no reset. Yeah, love to see it. I think burning me there is still better for them. Don't I get burned and confused? Because if they do, wouldn't it be better to keep their IP active in case they didn't have a switch? Because we are down on quite a few switching notes. I think we get burned and confused. I think they should just left their IP in the active spot. It makes it easier to knock out too. Oh, they don't burn me? What the heck? Alright, well. Here goes nothing. It's not a boss. Alright, about to find out if this shuffles the deck or not. Yeah, it does it. Alright, so... We could do double thing. I mean, we have Burt. Honestly, I think we just go... I don't want to lose all my switches, though, either. See, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, they can see it anyways. Alright, never mind. Uh, I think my alternative there is we didn't hit it. We probably just would have went with the Sir Fetch and just swung into them for 200 and kept the Hyperior for Rainy Day. Because um, it can at least... I don't think it really mattered, actually. I think we still would have went Sir Fetch, though. Um, if we didn't... I maybe draw one of them better to... I don't really know. Anyways, I'm going to rather these future guys with the B deck here. We had some pretty hilarious games. Not going to lie. That ADP matchup. I still can't get over that. I, that Bro, like, who plays 15 energy, bro? Anyways, I'm going to wrap the video, guys, on the B deck here with Sir Fetch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really liking this deck. I think the idea of playing B with Jirachi and Rangaroos and a bunch of energy like that. I think it's, like, really good. And again, guys, there is a ton of other partners for this deck. Let me know down below in the comments what other partners you guys want to see with B. There's a ton of Pokemon. There's Stonjourner. There's Colossal VMAX. There's just so many partners. So if you guys want to see any other B deck, if you guys have any other B ideas, let me know down below. I could even cover B in Expanded. In all honesty, it's that crazy. It's a pretty versatile card. So let me know down below what you want to see. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 13,000 subscribers. Once again, guys, thank you for all the support and growth on the channel recently. It's been amazing. I got to thank guys all for that once again. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, check out Car Kevin down below. Use code Aliyah. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch down below, guys. I do stream, and I got a sub button now, and I also have some cool emotes. So if you guys want to go check that out, check it out down below. Twitch.tv slash LittleDarkFury. Check out the GG Tour tournament. Use LDF5 if you sign up to get a $5 entry fee instead of 10 and I'll be it for the video. Peace out.